Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel friends if you are not subscribed my YouTube channel yet do subscribe it today and press the bell icon to receive notification about my new videos. In this video we will see how to fix if camera is not working on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started. So we all know that how important camera is in today's world because due to pandemic situation all of the meetings were virtual and if you want to collaborate with your colleagues or friends or family then you need the camera access for sure and if camera is not working under these meetings we can understand how frustrating and annoying this problem is. So in this guide, I will give you some tips that will help you to fix this problem. So let's start with our first method. In the first method, we will have to enable camera access using privacy button or privacy shutter. On some devices, you will find this privacy button as shown in this video. You have to simply press this camera privacy button and instantaneously camera will be enabled on your device. In case if you are getting black screen with camera, then it might be due to privacy shutter. You have to simply slide this privacy shutter and it will make the camera usable again. Now moving on to our next method and that is updating driver. So go to your favorite search engine and search for camera drivers for your system model. All of the device manufacturers have these drivers available on their website. So in this example, I am showing you to install drivers for Asus Genbook Flip S. And this is just an example for this device. You can follow similar steps for your own device. So here, in this case, the manufacturer is Asus and the system model name is Zenbook Flip S and I have landed to its page. Here I have option driver and utility. Then I have to select the operating system. So I have selected Windows 11 here. And if I scroll down on this page, I can easily locate the camera driver. So here you can see that I have successfully located camera driver. All I need to do is that I can click on the download button here and download the camera driver and install it. So when you follow these steps to download camera driver for your system model from your system manufacturer's website, then possibly this issue will be fixed. If you can't follow such steps, you can also update your camera driver directly from the device manager. So right click on the start button and select device manager. You can also press windows plus X and then press M key. In the device manager window, expand cameras, right click on your primary camera device and select update driver. Now make sure you are connected to the internet and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the update for this driver. Once the driver has been updated, hopefully that will help you to resolve the problem. Now our method 3 involves switching cameras. So on the camera app, you will be finding this switching camera icon. So if you are getting this issue, it could be possible that you are looking forward to wrong camera. So simply click on this switch camera icon. It will instantaneously connect to the another camera you are exactly looking for. In this case, it switched to EOS webcam utility. Currently it is not connected, but in case if it was connected, it will be shown up here. So this was our method three. Now moving on to our next method which involves enabling camera access in the privacy settings of Windows 11. So simply open the settings app, go to privacy and security, you scroll down and locate app permissions heading. Under that heading you will find camera. Now under camera make sure that camera access option is turned on. Also you have here the camera access for individual apps so you can select out the app and turn the option for that app so that it have camera access. In case if you are having trouble with desktop apps and they can't use your camera like Microsoft Teams or Google Chrome, you have to simply 
turn on let desktop apps access your camera option here so once you enabled camera access under privacy settings these apps will be able to use your camera again now coming to the last method we can suggest here that is re-register camera using windows powershell so first of all close the camera app and make sure that it is not working in background you can end this task using task manager now press windows plus x and select windows terminal admin by default windows terminal admin opens to administrative windows powershell when that window opens paste this command from the video description i have provided and press the enter key after pressing the enter key you will see the deployment operation progress like this which will be completed within few seconds and once it is done you can close the windows terminal or minimize it and after that you will have camera access again in case if you are still facing this problem do let me know via your comments i'll be happy to help you and that's it for now in this video thanks for watching it if you found it helpful do like it share it and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos